Hey guys, welcome back to another Movement Fix Thursday. Today we're gonna to be talking about the, sh the hip shift in the squat, okay? So I know I've done a video on this before and I've talked to you guys about feet placement and making sure that we're even side to side, right? That was one way that we talked about fixing that squat because if your feet are off, you're 10 gonna lean in the front back or the front or the back foot. So today we're gonna to talk about something called the favor test, okay? So this is gonna show us if we have um, ability in the hip if we have an impingement up in here and the favor test stands for flexion abduction and external rotation okay so this can be pretty simple to, to you to do on your own but if you needed a coach to assess you you could always do so so we're gonna lay on our back <clears throat> and first thing we're gonna do is put the ankle on top of the other knee and the goal here is to make sure your hips don't do this okay so we're kind of flat both hips are down, we just want to relax. Now you can see, this is my right side, which is not bothering me by the way, can almost sink to the ground. I'm at pretty much 90 degree angle. There's a slight up in there. I feel a little tension up here, but nothing, nothing crazy. And I want you to watch my left side, which is the side that's been bothering me. And you can see, unless I force it or I make an adjustment with keeping this hip down, you can see how high this knee is. So that's telling me I have a hip impingement which is not allowing me to abduct or externally rotate in this hip to get the needed leg drive out in my squat. So what's happening is, as I squat, I'm not able to externally rotate, right, and get those out properly. I'm having a little bit of a hinge hip, which, or a, a hip issue here, that impingement is causing that knee to come in, and because to free it up and allow me to do it, I shift to the right, okay? So something we can do to free that up is going to be with a barbell in the rig. So let's move the camera and we'll get that set up. All right, so the barbell in the rig, we can use pretty much anything, um, anything that's, that you put your hands on, countertop, whatever. So if you're doing this at home, you don't necessarily need a barbell, but anything you can put your hands on for stability, okay? So the left side is the issue I'm having problems with. So I'm going to think about going in that kind of like single leg deadlift form. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn, driving this knee out, trying to go belly button to the side wall. And I can really push through that outer hip, okay? Looking for balance, really trying to turn it. And now I feel that, it, that impingement locking in that position. So I'm gonna show you side to side what that looks like. The difference here. And I can feel like I can get much more horizontal on my right side, which is the side that I don't have the impingement on. Whereas my left side, not as able, I get stuck right about here. And then I really have to force it and find that spot where I'm feeling that impingement and it's right there. Do a couple sets of those and that should help kind of uh, free that up. I would do about 10 reps holding for about 10 to 15 seconds at each one. And then we're going to obviously retest that at the end. And once we feel like we're even on either side, we're going to go to our next drill, which is going to help kind of fix the motor control issue of, so we don't go back to it, all right? So that's coming up just right now. Okay, so now that we've freed up that impingement, we wanna make sure that we test it. <laughs> so we're gonna come down and we're gonna test that again. So I did both sides just to kinda help. I always do both sides as opposed to just doing one. You can see I'm a little bit lower on this side. And although it's not perfect, I have gained a lot more mobility in that hip. I don't feel as like restricted in that area. So I definitely did help it. I got ways to go, but we'll get after it. <clears throat> now our next drill is going to be grabbing our hip, our halo, or bands that we like to put around our knees. And we're gonna loop that across, okay? 
We're going to get in a good squat stance, obviously making sure our feet are even. And then we're going to try to externally rotate and squeeze our glutes. And then we're going to do slow and controlled squats. And every about quarter, we want to stop and squeeze. Hold for about three. Descend. Squeeze. Make sure our butt's activated. Squeeze. Down and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. All the way up. OK, so we're going to go a couple inches each time, pausing for three to five seconds, really making sure that the glutes are even on both sides or on on both sides, and then we're not favoring one side. Because if you get to a spot and you're holding, you should be really feeling that your glutes are activated on both sides. I technically feel like my right side is a little bit more activated, but again, that's why I have this issue. I'm down there, now I can feel my left one starting to activate, and they're both even, even, still even, 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 and even. So we're doing about 10 reps to wake up those glutes, make sure we're even side to side, and now we're going to fix it motor control wise. Okay, so we've cleared up the impingement with the mobility, and now you have the motor control aspect to make sure we stay out of that hip shift in our squats. Hope this helps. Give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss a weekly show. And if you guys have an impingement or a movement tip that you're looking for, send us a message, let us know. We'd love to put, make a video for you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.